Hi everybody, we're going to write down the nth, uh, nth term of each sequence suggested by the pattern. And the first thing you want to do is label these. And I'm going to write like A sub, and this is what I'm saying, A sub 1. So this would be A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4. And this continues on. And if it continues on by the same pattern, then what you're going to look at is these index numbers and notice that these match here. So we know our um, this matches. You always look at your index numbers here. So basically our uh, numerator is going to be n. And we also notice that the denominator is 1 bigger than the index number. So we're just going to write that as n plus 1. And you can plug back these values and check. Okay, the next one we have is this one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Uh, four. This is a 3. So basically we notice these ones match so if we do this, we're going to have n over n. And in this case, this 2 and here is 1 bigger. So that would be n plus 1. Okay. And this one, I'm going to write a sub 1. If you want, you can write this as 1 over 1. And this would be a sub 2, a sub 3 a sub 4. And so uh, we know that this is not um, is simple. We know that the 1 on the top stays the same. So it's going to be 1 over something. So I basically should be writing this. All right. And what I'm going to write is I can write this denominator as 1 over 2 to the 0. 1 over 2 to the first, 1 over 2 squared, and 1 over 2 cubed. So basically, I'm going to write this as 2 raised to the n minus 1. Because when I plug in 1 here, so when I plug in my 1, I get 1 over 2 to the 1 minus 1, which is 1 over 2 to the 0 which is 1 over 1. And then you can plug in these other values and see that this works. Okay, and the last one we have is this one. So I'm going to write a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So basically, what I notice with this is that my term is going to be um, two thirds to the nth power. And I just noticed, because you have to look at the pattern here, I noticed that when you square two thirds, you get four ninths. So there's your two, that would be for the square part. When you cube two thirds, you're going to get your 8 27ths and so forth. Okay, the next video is very similar, but I'm going to do it with alternating signs where we have to use this uh, symbol here. We're going to have to use this for alternating signs. Okay, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.